Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. This one's from a company by the name of Liberty Home Concealment. If you've never heard of this company before, you need to check their website out. I'll put it in the description down below. These guys have got a little bit of everything on their website. If you're into guns and home concealment type products, then definitely, definitely check their website out. These guys have got concealment furniture and concealment wall art and concealment flags. I mean, anything and everything you can imagine where you could hide a gun, they make it or they got it. Uh, now, this one here is their We the People Constitution wall art, and it, it is absolutely beautiful. Now, they've got it in two different colors. They've got it in a black, and then they have it in an off-white and this is like a distressed look. So when I say off-white, it's got some uh, like off-white colors with some like touches of gray and then some black in it. And then of course the, the letters are, are black. But uh, you know, this thing starts at $100 and you can upgrade the locks on it to, to where you can open it up with an RFID card that you swipe in front of a little uh, very right in there and that's why that sticker is on there it says place key here and so what you would do is you would swipe this card in front of it and it's going to unlock that box where you can get into it so you know that's a $45 upgrade so what I'm showing you right here is $145 and that's not bad at all I'm going to show you some of the features and tell you a little bit about it and then at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to install it and I'm going to show you exactly where I installed it in the decor in the room that I've got with it and you're gonna be like wow that thing looks amazing in there so uh, make sure you watch the video to the very end now first things first I want to go ahead and give you the dimensions on the box if you measure it externally from the outside edges then it is 24 inches wide 13 inches tall and three and a half inches deep you can see the internal measurements go from the inside and it measures 21.75 wide, 11.25 tall, and 1.75 deep. Now, just to give you guys an idea of how much room is in this concealment uh, case, uh, I've got a Taurus PT-111 G2 right here and a Ruger SR-22. And I'm just going to stick them up there and give you guys a, an idea of kind of how much room you have left you know if you want to mount them you could easily put four guns in there you know if they're that size there you you could you could easily mount four guns no problem plus some clips and and whatever else you choose to put in there so that just gives you an idea of of what size case this is and for 150 bucks you know you, you can't go wrong but you know you guys get the idea uh, and how sharp that it looks now it is made out of uh, plywood but you know uh, they've done a good job really good job on the fit and finish everything's nice and just well put together and then the lid is a uh, magnetic so uh, you know it'll it'll shut itself closed uh, but I, I measured the lid right in here and uh, it's made out of three-quarter inch plywood and so you know, it looks really good. They've got it nice and stained. They put some nice hinges on here. You know, you see these kind of hinges on high-end cabinets. Plus, you got your foam in here, and that way you can cut it out. You can just put your gun up there and cut around the foam, and then, you know, you can uh, stick your guns in there, and it holds in place. And then right along uh, the, the side here, you have a, a chain that just keeps you from overextending the lid, and... You know, they've got a, a screw here and then it's screwed in on the side. Now, if you turn around and look at the back, it looks like to me that they've uh, used a router and just cut uh, a little bit out along the edges there so they could fit this uh, piece of plywood in for the back. So I know that looks like uh, thinner uh, plywood right there, but it's not. It's, uh, it's the same plywood as here in front. Like I said, they just... Uh, they just routed it down so where they could put their little backing in there. Now here in the directions, it tells you all the stuff that you're going to need to mount this. And you're just pretty much going to need a number two drill bit and a drill or an impact. Then you're going to need a tape measure to measure how high you're going to put it. A level, 
and then a stud finder so it's very very simple tools and then they give you the mounting screws to mount it with and then uh, inside the, the case here it has like a, a thank you letter and then their mission statement and then it, it also says in there that they have a custom center so you know it says they make coat racks wall mirrors quilt racks mantles clocks lamps as well as a full line of concealment flags and multiple sizes and designs they are made in america the products are now they said they try to source all of the materials whenever they can from from the u.s but sometimes you know they have to get it from uh outside the u.s so you know that's pretty typical with most businesses nowadays but hey you know being made in the usa you know that, that's nice and we appreciate that as his uh customers so anyways now i'm gonna mount the we the people concealment box here in this room i've already got a, a flag up there you can check that one out in one of my other videos but i figured that this concealment box would look great right when you walk in the room you see we the people and since this room is uh, like a beige and it has some gray touches in it i thought you know what this is going to be perfect because uh, at a later date, I do plan on painting this room a light gray, so uh, I think that it'll really look great with uh, some of the gray that's in the in the box there. So, you know, if you've you've got different color walls, like I said, they do make a black version of this with the white letters, and it looks great too. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, stay tuned, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find the stud and get everything marked and. And I'm going to show you guys just how to hang it. Don't go anywhere. Now, I went ahead and found the center of my wall. And then uh, I went ahead, which is uh, right here. And then uh, my stud is between these two marks right here. And I thought, well, let's raise it up a little bit for the height. And so I've got the stud marked right in here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mount it pretty high, probably a little bit higher than what some of you would have. But I've got like nine ten foot ceilings here in the house and so uh, the way that you want to go ahead and get started is after you find find your height then right here you'll notice that it's it's already notched out for you to go ahead and stick your screw in and you're going to put this one in there first i'm going to take and center it up where i want it and then i'm going to take my impact crazy crazy tight with it uh, because what you want to do next is since you already have it put in there at the top now you can go back with your level and center it up so you can see that it's crooked and you'll want to get it as perfect as you can because you ain't nothing more aggravating than getting done and it being crooked so I always check it with the level. You can see it's all mounted. It's all nice and secure. And it's at the perfect height that I wanted it. And to be honest, I couldn't be any happier with it. It just looks really sharp. Put your guns in there and, and nobody even know. Now you can see right here along the side how it fits up nice and tight against the wall. And then right here across the top. Looks really good up there. And then even on this other side. You can see there's no gap. And then here on the bottom where you put the other screw in, in there, nice and smooth all the way across. And it feels nice and sturdy. And to be honest, I didn't put any uh, screws on these uh, side pieces. Like I said, I'm going to eventually paint this, this room in here. And it's you know not going to be too far down the road. So I didn't put those screws in there. I figured I would wait. But, uh, you know, ju with just the top and the bottom in the stud, uh, it feels nice and secure. It's not going to go anywhere. You could easily uh, put guns in there and, and not have any problems. Now on the directions, it says to use three AAA batteries. What you want to do is just take and pull this little panel off right here. And once you slide that little cover back, then you can easily tell which way the, or most of you can tell which way the batteries goes in. You just put it in there like that, and you've seen it light up. All right, let's try it. Oh, yeah. Opens right up first time. 
and you know it's got a nice little light on there to let you know that uh, it's fixing to lock back and so once that little lock pops out then when you go to shut it it automatically locks itself so now it won't open up until you swipe that card across that sensor and then you can hear it open itself back up man that is so cool check out you know the liberty home concealment you know these guys have got some really cool stuff i appreciate you watching please like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell 